Welcome to another Philly to Dubai Realtor video. We are here in Al Jedef, Dubai to give you a tour and tell you a little bit about this area should you consider making Al Jedef your new home. So Al Jedef is actually a sub-community of Bord Dubai, which is a section of downtown Dubai. Just to give you a little fun fact about Al Jedef, before all of this construction and it became a residential area, it actually used to be a doe building area. And a doe is the traditional Arab boats that they would use to cross the Mediterranean as well as the Red Sea to carry goods and to do trading. So Al Jedef is a residential area now. But in addition to being residential, Jedef also offers a range of service departments, hotels, and waterfront residences. So if you're looking for temporary apartments while you get settled, or if you're just visiting or on tour here and you want an apartment, Al Jedef would be an excellent choice for you to consider. So I'll tell you some of the reasons why people actually move to Al Jedef and it's because it's a new up and coming area it's quiet but it's also busy it's a bustling community it's the home of the zabil stadium which holds the city's most prominent football matches for fans and admirers to experience and enjoy so once you get an apartment here and you're on a high enough floor then you'll be able to see the matches going on in the Zabil Stadium depending on where your apartment is located of course it's also situated on the Dubai Creek uh, this little community well it's not little actually it's not really little but it's a it's a sizable community and it's situated west of Dubai of the Dubai Creek where you can go for a stroll enjoy the views and even do a little fishing, which I've seen some residents do myself with my own eyes. One of, if not the best reason to move to Al Jedef, in my opinion, is that you're in the heart of Dubai. You're near everything. You have access to all the major roads, all the major monuments that people come here to tour and see, all major shopping centers, all the malls. This is it's quite a few malls. Uh, that you can reach just within minutes and the international airport so your travel from the airport would be a few minutes from the airport to your place and from your place back to the airport if you're just a visitor or if you're traveling however you like it and also the metro is smack dab here in the middle if you'd like to travel to work using the metro instead of fighting with traffic If you need to go food shopping and your daily shopping for things that you need, necessities, that's all here. Even if you need to take a trip to the clinic or the hospital, it's also here. There's a famous Latifa hospital uh, right here in the proximity of Al Jedef. So everything that you need is right here at your fingertips, as well as being in the middle or in the heart of Dubai. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about rent. When you're renting an apartment, we're looking to rent an apartment in Al Jedef, and I'm talking about for residency. For those who will have their, uh, you know, Emirates ID and their visas already established, and you want to move to Al Jedef, you're looking at a range from 39,000 for a studio apartment with a square feet starting square feet of 431 uh, of course some some units are larger and some may be more expensive depending on the layout depending on the building how luxurious it is etc and for a three bedroom apartment on the larger side of things you'll look to pay about 105,000 and above you may find something a little bit lower than that, you know, it's possible. But 
uh, and the and the average square feet for a three bedroom apartment is starting at two thousand square feet and above. So that's just a summary. Of course, there are uh, gray areas of uh, exceptions for it's just a a general average that I'm throwing out here for you to expect for uh, rental prices in Al Jadif. If perhaps anyone is looking to actually purchase property in Al Jadif, then the section that is open to non-citizens is the healthcare city section of Al Jadif. It is open and um, it is leasehold, no, no, I'm sorry, not leasehold, freehold. It is freehold. Healthcare city is freehold for non-citizens to purchase units, which are, uh, the buildings are usually made by developers um, like Azizi or Bengati and a few others. So if you're looking to buy, then that's the section that you would buy a unit in. The rest of Al Jadif is not freehold, which means only UAE citizens or GCC citizens are allowed to own property, which uh, they do. And when you're renting a property, then you will be renting from these uh, the, uh, buildings that are owned by UAE citizens or GCC citizens. So that concludes our Al Jadif tour of Dubai. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If any of you are interested in renting an apartment in this area, in this particular community, please don't hesitate to contact us. We will be more than happy to assist you in finding your new dwelling in Al Jadif, Dubai.